My name is Natalie Ramsey here at Red Bridges Barbecue Lodge. My grandparents opened it in 1946. We are going 78 years strong. Uh, my grandfather was a cook in the war, and when he came back, he told my grandmother, said, come on, we're opening a barbecue restaurant. And she thought, oh, okay, let's do it. So they did, and 78 years later, my mother took over. Now it's me and my brother, and we still use the exact same recipes, everything we did back in 1946. But we pit cook our meat, and so that's where all the flavor comes from. A lot of people have walked away from that. My grandmother's motto was, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So. We typically, we don't change much around here. But like today, we added brisket. That's a new thing, a new adventure. So, you know, little steps. A lot of the staff is still here when I was born. I have the same waitresses, a lot of the same health that's been here my whole life. And so it's a huge family out here. The same, same customers, they come time and time again, same time, same place, same booth. Don't get in their booth on a certain day because they get upset with you. St. Peter tells me I have a choice between Heaven or Bridges Barbecue. I'm coming to Bridges Barbecue. I, I'd eat here every night if I lived in Shelby. But we live in Forest City, but it's worth the trip. It always is worth the trip. I've tried most barbecue across North Carolina and South Carolina. This has the best taste and texture to it. Um, I like to mix stuff in a salad. Um, I'm also done the barbecue and the pimento cheese together which makes a great sandwich. I like that it's family owned and operated. They um, behind the scenes contribute a lot to the community. Alrighty, right here we have our traditional chopped barbecue. And on the barbecue plate we have got coarse chopped brown where all the flavor is, uh, our barbecue slaw, baked beans, french fries, and of course we have our awesome hush puppies made from scratch. And then over here we have the brisket sandwich, which is new to the menu. And of course, everybody gets a little cup with their extra sauce on it. What holds us separate from everybody else is we still pit cook our meat. We have somebody come in and use wood, fire it all night long. And basically, I mean, that's where you get your flavor. There's nothing else added to it. And that's what makes it so good. We're just so thankful and blessed because without them, we would not be here. And they spread the word. We've had people from all over. I actually shipped barbecue sauce to Hawaii last week. Like, it's just, it's just a great big honor. We're so blessed and thankful to have such awesome customers.